Hello, my name is Gopes. I'm going to uh, explain you some things about uh, laser guided bombing in the DCS Warthog beta. Uh, there's a lot of discussion going on whether the implementation currently in the simulator is correct. Uh, I don't really know. I'm not a pilot, so I can't tell you. Uh, I did a little a lot of reading though about laser guided bombing and the Paveway 2 and I read some tricks that the real pilots use in order to increase the bomb's uh, accuracy so I'm going to try today in the simulator if uh, with using those tricks I can achieve uh, results uh, that the real pilots do so really I've read about uh, four tricks the first trick is uh, the delayed lasing and the bomb uh, will generally only be guided in the last 10 seconds of flight uh, because it steers very inefficiently and therefore it will expend uh, all of its energy before it has reached the target and it cannot uh, steer accurately anymore in the uh, in the last uh, seconds of flight the other thing is that the bombs have a tendency to fall short uh, basically for the same reason and that is why I read that pilots will actually uh, aim behind the target so the bomb will fall short of the uh, point that's aimed for and then hit the target well, the third thing is that they will actually uh, correct for wind so they will offset for any known winds and the fourth thing is that a diving delivery from medium to high altitude uh, will enable a more maneuverable bomb and will also enable uh, longer lasing times in this scenario uh, I've set quite some winds and um, therefore I will not use delayed lasing I'll just lose auto lase but I will deliver from a dive and I will offset my aiming point uh, both to correct for the wind and to correct for the bomb falling short you can see in the targeting part on the right MFD there I'm trying to uh, establish an aiming point uh, the wind is coming from the right here so that makes me think it's going to blow the wind a bit to the left the bomb a bit to the left so I would aim right of the target and uh, behind the target and then uh, just pray and uh, hope for a hit so we're now 10 miles out, uh, I'm kind of determining the aiming point. So I've now uh, determined my aiming point, uh, slightly to the right and behind the target. Well, that will be my final aiming point. And uh, 10 seconds to release. I'm going to make a dive here it's not the most accurate delivery, it doesn't really matter bombs is away and you can see the laser has already activated if you look at the bomb it's still a bit in horizontal flight so it hasn't detected the laser yet there we go it's now tracking the laser And now we just pray if the initial offset that I've given is a bit correct. Uh, once you have determined it for uh, for this environment, then you can uh, use it uh, again and again. Let's see what happens. No. So that was a direct hit. Uh, let's uh, fast forward to the second target so I'm now running in on the second target uh, you can see I aim a bit to the left here now to offset for the wind because of course we're coming in from the other side uh, again aiming behind the target uh, making the dive for the release 4 seconds to release and bomb is away taking a look at the bomb see it will not track yet by the way this method will only work if you uh, deliver from a dive uh, if you do not do it then you will have to use the delayed lasing 
Otherwise, uh, the offset you have to make is uh, too big. Okay, second bomb. About 10 seconds to impact. And it's a miss. But as you can see in the targeting part, uh, target is still destroyed. It's close enough. So running in on the third target. Um, again taking the same aim point as on the first target because we're coming from the exact same direction. Making the dive here for delivery, 30 degrees, and bombs away. Laser is auto activating again. Looking at the bomb. Let's see if it picks up the laser. And it does. And again, it's a direct hit. So this is the fourth bomb. Uh, I've again uh, chosen an offset point. Mm. Let's see what the fourth one does. We got three out of three so far. Well, let's see what's going to happen. And another direct hit, I'd say. Okay. So, 4 out of 6. So, okay, I'm running in on the 5th uh, target. Uh, two bombs left, two targets left. Uh, kind of getting nervous now uh, <laughs> whether I can do it. Um, well, let's hope so. 9 miles out. If again, uh, this is again the, uh, the original direction uh, that we're gonna come from here, so the offset aim is exactly the same because it scored me uh, two hits already. So again, this will only work when diving, otherwise you certainly have to use uh, delayed lasing. Uh, but with this wind, uh, well it kind of seemed impossible to drop from this altitude and still uh, hit the laser. Uh, so late, so I chose for this option. So there we go, 5 seconds uh, for a 3 and diving down. And release. Uh, now you'll, you'll notice that as soon as the bomb catches the laser it will start wobbling all over the place. Uh, it's because the bomb can only detect uh, when it has overcorrected, so it will try to catch the laser spot but it doesn't know when it's exactly on it it only knows when it has overcorrected and then it will uh, move the control surfaces completely the other way so that's why you get these uh, weird yeah, flight paths fifth bomb and direct hit yeah, it seems to work there's one more left So and we're diving in on the final target here and release. The laser has activated.
and there it goes again again because the control for surfaces only have uh, two positions and it can only detect once it has overcorrected and there we go looks like a miss yeah let's see if it's oh it's destroyed yeah it will explode boom there it goes well it's six out of six uh, in windy conditions uh, from high altitude without even using uh, delayed lasing uh, by using the tactics that I've read uh, in some articles so I hope uh, well maybe this movie can help uh, some uh, some pilots improving their uh, success with laser guided bombs So, uh, so much for this movie. Uh, I hope it wasn't too boring and uh, I'll see you next time.